for Illustrator CS5, PC or Mac, and it's the concerning the use of brushes and creating various graphic styles effects with brushes. Right, the same approach could be used for CS4, CS3 in some aspects, but things like the uh, new uh, profiles can only be used in CS5. Right, so I'm just going to create a quick design here. So I'm just going to, well, a line, not much of a design, but there's a line. And I'm just going to apply a default brush on this one, Chalk Scribble. Now, if you've got some other version, you might have different brushes there, but you can use any other brush for this. I'm just going to increase the stroke size. So maybe make that 10 point, so you can actually see the design. Right, now I'm just going to go to the Appearance Palette. And Appearance Palette, you can actually get that via the Window menu. Appearances, Appearance. So I'm just going to select the stroke there, I'm just going to select that. And you will see there you've got the color of the stroke and you've got the brush definition displayed. So you could actually change the brush at that point if you wish. But I'm just going to use that brush. No fill. So I'm just going to go to the menu here. Duplicate item. So I'm actually going to have create another stroke that will have the same brush at the present. Now you can actually change the color of the stroke here. So I'm going to maybe you know, make it red. So just click on that. So now the previous stroke is still there, but it's underlying the uh, the actual stroke. So if you actually want to see the other strokes, I'm, you can just click on the stroke and maybe just make it weight of, say, five, five points. So you can actually see the stroke behind it. Now I'm just going to quickly save it as a style, so a new graphic style. So I can just save that. So that brush stroke is now saved over in the graphic styles. Now you can do also other things. You can actually so just expand this out. You can actually uh, change the uh, opacity as well as blending mode. So I'm just going to say difference. So I'll maybe make that a different color there. So say green. So you can actually see the difference applied. Difference of the blending between the red and the green. So you can actually create, say like, I'm just create another new star at this point. You can also, at this point, you can also click on the stroke. And you can set up a different profile for the stroke. So you can do all this via the appearance palette. Do that. So I'm just going to save, create a new graphic style there. You can also, while you're selecting that one, I can actually go to the effects and say use a blur, Gaussian blur. So click OK at that point. Might be a bit slow, but you know, I've actually got a blur now applied to the brush, the brush stroke, as well as having the other brush. So you could also you could create multiple strokes on this. So maybe creating sort of like combinations of different sizes, different strokes, different effects applied to each of the strokes. Now you can also at this point just, of course, you can move them backwards and forwards. You can also apply, say, click on that, and you can create, say, another effect. So this time I'm going to put, just going to go to the stylize, drop shadow, click there, OK. Now the stroke has actually got a shadow in there as well, so you can actually got a sort of more three-dimensional kind of brush. Now you can also, in the stroke, you can actually do, click stroke there, you can also use like the dashed lines as well if you wish. So I'm just going to click dashed lines. And then you will actually get some <laughs> quite a weird brush where the brush suddenly is broken into dashes. Actually all the individual brushes keep applied, 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 applied all throughout that. So if you actually increase the size you'd actually see the same, the actual brush stroke again as there you'd actually see the brush stroke inside there. So you can create, also you can create slightly unusual patterns by clicking the stroke, and you can actually obviously add a gap, change the gap to say four points. Yeah, see, so and obviously you, can, you could also do the same with the stroke below. And like I say, you can actually also create multiple strokes again and again. But obviously the more times you do that, the more complicated the brush becomes, and the slower the actual restoring of the brush stroke uh, will occur. 
So I'm just going to save that. Okay, new graphic style. So once I've saved that, so you can just see it's crazy. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't want that anymore. So now I'm just going to apply a brush stroke. Just a new brush stroke. And vast speed it will actually appear, but it will appear eventually. But it actually just takes the first stroke at this point. That's the reason why I'm being creating them as actual graphic stars. So you've obviously got the, the lovely dashes throughout the uh, the brush stroke. It does create some interesting effects. But then if you afterwards you can actually just click on the graphic style. And again with lightning speed on the system, applies the art brushes and just recreates everything that's in the style or slash appearance. And again you can of course go over to the appearance palette and modify the brush stroke further. So there you've got a sort of blurred drop shadow dotty sort of brush applied there. And again you can create multiple different styles and different sort of brushes and you can actually modify the stroke again via this palette. Okay. You can also find uh, many brushes on www.graphicextras.com but you can also find many other brushes and, and this approach can be used on any brush that uh, you can uh, use in Illustrator. I say it's uh, mainly for CS5 as I've used you can use the various things like the new profile feature but uh, if you've got earlier versions you can actually uh, do various things with the brushes CS4 will, uh, will work.